Hey guys, today I'll be doing a review on the Dito Note 4 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 Varian GT N7100. Let's check it out. Okay, let's get the main thing out of the way first. This ROM is based on Android 4.4. It's a touchscreen based ROM. It has the, the Note 4 complete suite. It's full of all the system apps and features that are software based. Some hardware based ones such as Photonote have been ported to this ROM but they don't work as they should because I suspect it's the megapixel count of the Note 2 which is only 8 megapixels. So performance wise this, this ROM is quite snappy and has a custom kernel called Acne kernel pre-installed in the ROM, it's built in. Thanks to this ROM, we have a lot of customization and tweaking. And also many profiles to choose from, such as extreme battery safe, battery safe, normal optimize, and gaming. So, and battery life is very great and can be extended even further using the custom profiles. Um, you can get every four hours of screen on time with heavy or mid to heavy usage. And this ROM also offers underclocking and undervolting your CPU, which helps with battery life and performance you can uh, overclock up to 1.9 gigahertz if i'm not mistaken and, and i can get a 1.8 gigahertz stable overclock you can overclock the gpu too so the important thing about this rom is you have to install the five updates that come after installing the main rom it's pretty small files and you should install them immediately and the update 5 there's two files the first file is wrong update 5 you need to install update 5b you remember that you can get this um, this uh, ROM and all the updates um, in the website I provide in the link. It's the Ultra Team's official website. Hope you guys enjoyed this ROM and if you liked my review, please re subscribe, like, and share if, to your friends who want to make their note to even better and can last through another two-year term if you want to say that. So, so. Thank you guys, hope to see you all next time. I'll be doing a review on the CM12 unofficial ROM soon, so stay tuned.